oh man, my hair, I must have, I gotta get a haircut maybe. Oh crap, I'm not looking perfect. Oh no. See that, this, this is my sleepy head. <laughs> this is where I sleep every night. Guess I can't take this video now. <sighs> gonna have to be perfect. I'll be right back, hang on, just chill, cause I gotta go take it, make it, get a haircut, I'll be right back. What's up my friends? Griff Nelson, your holistic lifestyle hacker, and I do that silly little intro because I have never been a fan. And some of you are gonna completely disagree with me on this, and more power to you, great. But you know what thing, one thing that really pisses me off, that really is annoying, is this Instagram, social media, this instant gratification, fitness world, this fitness hype that we that we get sucked into. Like, I started doing uh, Instagram about a year ago, and you probably noticed I don't do it anymore. I do more YouTube, I do more Facebook. I, I don't know if I'll get back into it or not, but basically the reason that I didn't is because I found, at least from what I saw, these constant selfies, these, hey, look at these abs, you know. Uh, <laughs> It really paints the wrong picture of what health and wellness is, or should be in my opinion. Okay, there's seven billion people in the world right now, right? What percentage of those people are going to be the chiseled abs, you know, thong wearing, look at my G-string, ooh, look at this bench press, you know, rippled chest, God, you know, what, what percentage of people actually fit into that category? Let's see. Uh, call them back. Uh, what percentage of those people actually fit into that? Now, what happens is if you fall into that fitness hype, I hear this all the time. I literally had a client the other day in the gym. She's like, I'm so depressed when I get on Instagram. Like all oh, these beautiful people. Now I'm not taking away from what they're doing. I'm not taking away from their hard work. It takes a hell of a lot of work to get in shape, to get a six pack. I, I understand that even from a personal standpoint, I understand that. But what I think happens is it takes the reality out of humanity. And what I mean by that is out of 7 billion people, not, not many of us are in that category. So we look at the, these pictures, like the client here at Lifeline Fitness, my business here, they're like, I'm so depressed, these beautiful people. I'm never going to look like that. I'm so fat. I'm so ugly. Well, that's because you're seeing a perfect camera angle. You're seeing lighting. You're seeing take number seven. I'm not, and again, they are beautiful people. And you're seeing five years worth of dedication that went into that. And that can be very, very inspiring for some people. But for other people, it's very deflating. Do I have an email on this? Go ahead and comment. If you have had any kind of similar emotions with that where you feel like, oh man, why, where do I start? I'm never going to look like this guy or that fitness model over there. So why even try it? That's not the point. My message is and always will be, it has to come down to lifestyle change. It's great to look great. It's great to look great naked. It's great to feel really good about yourself. When you look at yourself in the mirror and you see the jeans are tight fitting, that's great. Nothing, I'm, don't get me wrong here. But my message is, what if these Instagrammers and the picture that is being painted is discouraging a lot of people because they're not seeing the full context. What I'm saying is there's a lot of work that went into that, and I'm sure you understand that. There's a lot of camera angles, there's a lot of things that go into that, okay? But in reality, you are on your own journey right now, my friend. You are at the perfect place. I don't care if you are 100 pounds overweight right now or 200. You're in the perfect place. Why? Because you have the ability to change right now. That doesn't mean you're going to be, out, be able to go out to the pull-up bar and, and crank out 15 pull-ups. That doesn't mean that you're going to be able to have the selfie of yourself in the next two weeks. But that doesn't mean that you have to feel guilty about that. 
you're on a different journey than they are, and that's okay. Their journey is awesome, and so is yours. My uh, plea would be <laughs> just understand where you're at in life and accept it, okay? Understand where you're at, accept that, and then make yourself a very reasonable plan. Here's what I would advise you to do. Pull out a piece of paper, okay? And you're gonna write down where I'm at right now, okay? Here's my weight, here's my measurements, here's how I feel psychologically, here's how I feel emotionally, spiritually, physically, etc. Write it all down. Here's where I'm at. Next, in the middle of the column, you're gonna write down where I want to be. So in each one of those areas, you're gonna put, you're gonna to start to write down where I ultimately want to be. Okay, so you're starting to create a vision. Okay, now on the right hand side of the sheet, you're gonna to start to write down the hows. Okay, so where you're at, then in the middle is kind of the vision. It's kind of the, the what you want. And then the right hand side of the sheet is the how. How am I gonna get there? Okay, now you can write yourself out a plan. And it can be extensive. You can say how you're going to, you know, get to the gym X amount of time and I'm going to do it for a year and I'm going to change my diet. So we're looking at a macro scale, but here's the key. I'm going to have you select out of all those action items, one thing, one, one thing that you can start to do right now. And then I want you to start to sequence it. What's the next thing that you can do after you've mastered it? So for example, I'm going to start to drink water. I'm going to start to take a daily walk. I'm gonna to start to get to the gym uh, three times a week. Focus on that one thing, that is your baby. Don't get overwhelmed by everything else, right? We're not being overwhelmed, that's the whole thing about the Instagram thing, oh, we're overwhelmed, how did they possibly do that? How do we possibly do it? Just focus on one thing, one, okay? Do that until you master it, move on to the next. And, and when I say master, you don't have to be perfect, but just until you feel like you've, that the habit has seeded, that can take anywhere from a couple weeks to a couple months to six months just depending on which habit you're looking at, okay? So, those three phases. Where are you at? Where do you wanna be? What are you gonna do? And what is the one thing, the one thing right now that you're gonna do, okay? This is a technique that I've used with countless clients. I've used it with myself, and I'll tell you, it works wonders because it takes the weight off. And just remember, Remember, you're on your own journey. Don't let the intimidation of the fitness industry uh, confuse you or hurt you or overwhelm you. They're, they're not meaning to do that. They're literally meaning to inspire you, but I've talked to enough people to know that it can have that reverse effect, and that is why you're watching this video, my friend. That is why you're listening. Remember, those three steps. If you have any questions, please let me know. Please comment in uh, the comment section, whether you're here on YouTube or if you're on my blog. I certainly want to engage in dialogue, so please, please, please share those comments. Um, just a quick reminder that my Freaky Fast Fitness course is coming soon. I'm so excited about this. This is if you are beginning level, if you're a uh, uh, busy professional and you're short on time, parent, whatever, and you want to get back in shape, uh, this is going to be a 10 minute, uh, a 30 minute or less workout professionally designed, and it is a 12 week lifestyle change course that is coming soon, and I will let you know. Remember to never excuse away that inner greatness and always remember life is good. We'll see you in the next video, my friend. Take care.